Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a Magic Review. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for being here. Today we got a new Magic Review for you. That's what I do. That's what I do here at the channel. I review Magic Tricks. I review Magic Tricks. I review playing cards and I do giveaways every single month. Got a November giveaway coming up soon, but super excited to tell you about the five giveaways happening in December. That's right. Normally I do four. Normally I do four, one for every week. I try to give you some of the stuff uh, that I've gotten throughout the entire year. Uh, coin tricks, street magic tricks, mentalism. There's a mentalism giveaway this year. And, uh, Counting up all the prizes, I've got five. Five weeks of giveaways, plus giving away an entire brick of playing cards over on my Instagram channel. So make sure you hit like, subscribe, follow, mash all those buttons. You don't want to miss it. Today, we're going to look at a cool little packet trick called Deception from Vinny Sagu. Now, if you've watched my channel for any amount of time, you know I'm a big fan of Vinny Sagu. I love his packet tricks. A lot of his packet tricks are amongst the packet tricks I grab as I head out the door. Uh, his are a lot of fun and none of them I think are super duper hard, right? Uh, they're always made uh, well. United States Playing Card Company, great graphics. And uh, today, no exception. Deception is a cool little like clue style card trick. Um, you're, not, you're familiar with Clue, right? Yeah, you, you have little character cards like Mr. Plum, Mrs. White, right? Uh, Colonel Mustard. And uh, the questions are always uh, who did the crime, what weapon they used, and what room were they in? Those three things are the, are the things that you need to decipher. Well, what Vinny has done is he's made his own little Clue style game, uh, only with two characters this time. Uh, you have the cook and you have the maid. Uh, you still get three different rooms, three different weapons, but only, only two characters. And you show those eight cards, right? Four cook cards, four maid cards to your spectator. You have them mentally select one, okay? They mentally select one that'll be, have a character and a location and a weapon that they will memorize. So they do need to memorize a single card that has three pieces of information on them. You then gather up all the cards and then you do a little shuffle and then you show them half of the cards. And you just say, hey, is, is your character and room and weapon in this half? And they say yes or no, okay? And then you shuffle them up, do it again, show them four cards, shuffle them up, do it again, show them four cards. And then you lead them through a little uh, lie detector test. The back of the cards have the little lie detector pulse on them. And you just simply ask them, uh, you know, who, who was the character? Was it the maid or the cook? And it doesn't matter if they tell the truth or lie, the cards will reveal the correct answer. And then you ask them the second question, you know, what room did this take place in? And again, they could lie or tell the truth, doesn't matter. The cards will reveal the correct answer. And then lastly, you say, what was the weapon? Again, they can lie or tell the truth and the cards reveal the very last card uh, will tell them the weapon that they had chosen. Very easy to do, no hard slights. Let's talk about everything. All right, our first question is, what do you get? You get a nice little plastic bag inside that. You're getting the eight cards, like I said, eight cards, uh, great graphics printed from United States Playing Card Company. So is it well made? Of course, made by a bicycle, best card making place on the planet, right? Best, 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 best. Also, as with all Vinny Sugu products, you get typed up instructions. You get a nice little booklet that has the instructions typed up and then you also get access to a video. So you also get video instructions, seven minutes of video instructions on how to do the trick. Is it what I thought? Um, yeah. Uh, it, 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 this is a played out trick that's been done other ways. Most often we've seen this done with cards. It's the truth lie style game. I'm not gonna tell you the shuffle that's involved in this. Um, I first saw this trick done by John Bannon, I think on one of his self-working card tricks DVDs. So it is a familiar plot that Vinny has redressed. How are the angles? There are no angles. As far as can the cards be inspected? Absolutely, there's nothing gaffed or gimmicked about them. The overall quality and production value of the video, you get an overhead shot like all of Vinny's videos. He's just gonna walk you through what you get, 
talk about the stack, the reset that's involved, and then he simply just goes through the trick and all the possible outcomes from beginning to end. There's nothing extra, you know, it's, it's seven minutes long. He's given you exactly what you need, and really, once you learn it, you won't forget it. Pocket space, it's only eight cards. Eight cards are gonna fit nicely in one of those little card wallets that you can pick up at Penguin Magic for 99 cents. How much practice does it require? I already mentioned that too, right? There's nothing difficult about it. Uh, there's no hard slights. Uh, I'd tell you the shuffle that's involved, but that would give away the trick. But trust me, anybody with even the slightest amount of skill level could do this trick. Set up and reset. I already mentioned that too, right? It's an eight card stack. Uh, you will need to put the cards back into the stack at the beginning, but it's not an obvious, it's not gonna give anything away. There's no telltale signs or anything like that. It's, it's gonna fly right by your spectator. You probably won't even understand why they're stacked that way. Positives, all right, so what are the positives? Deception allows you to be the detective in your own little mystery. No matter how much your spectator lies or tells the truth, you'll always find out who done it in the end. Negatives, all right, so what are the negatives? You know, kind of like what I said, uh, it's just a redressed trick. This trick's been out there before, it's been taught uh, by other people, you might already even know it, but it's just a redressing of a classic effect. Um, the other negative for me was, there's only two characters. You know, like in a Clue style game, you've got tons of characters, that's one of the fun things about Clue, is all the characters. So it's a little odd, to show four characters that are the same, right? Four cooks and four maids. Your spectator might not understand, well, where did these cards come from? Because like in a standard clue box, you only get one of each, not four of each, right? So there's an element to this that doesn't feel authentic, you know, right away. And I, I understand, you, you couldn't do this trick if all the characters were different. It wouldn't work. So they have, there has to be some element to it, but I wish, I don't know, it, it, it is what it is, right? It, it was just, it was a little strange to me in the way just the trick is presented with having four cards that are similar on, uh, in each row. Is it worth your money? It's $25. $25, it's affordable, it is affordable, it's a little high. A little high for an eight card trick and a seven minute video. I would say watch some other reviews and see if this is the trick you will love. That said, don't listen to me. There are other review channels out there. There are other review channels out there and you should be aware of them. Most notably, Chinese Magic Reviews. Chinese Magic Reviews did a review for this as well. Go out and watch it. And that's everything I can say. That's everything I can say about Deception from Vinny Sagu, Neo Magic. I, of course, wanna thank Murphy's Magic Supplies for allowing me to have this so that I can do the review for you. And if you'd like to purchase it for yourself, you can find it at your very favorite Murphy's Magic dealer. Thanks, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.